Welcome, welcome to Safari Live Sunset Safari. This is what is happening here in the western flanks of the Kruger National Park in South Africa. My name is Oli and joining us behind the camera is a sap from Kapo. Oh, what a wonderful thing to see. Over there we have leopards, the Duke of Juma and the other one which is Tlalamba. So we had a very great time with this kids they've seen this happening here they also met the duke of tumor he's high up in the tree with his kill an impala carcass he's busy feeding and the hyenas two hyenas are just down here trying to grab some pieces of meat falling from the tree and the other leopard is on the right hand side there you can see it's sitting there but it's not comfortable and that's not a comfortable spot i think what happened here that's my, that's my theory what's happening there's some conflict not a carpet that you would want to have in your home as they are currently very very smelly Smelly indeed. Okay, quickly off you go across to Kohli. Listen to that. Something is happening. There's some conflict happening right now, right here. This leopard is trying to sneak in to that kill. I uh, really need to talk to the other cars. Let me do that. Leopard spotted an kill just right on the right hand side of the Vuyatela dam. This is amazing. I just want you to listen to the Duke. Ellie, yes. Very cute. I just want us to listen to the to this Duke. I believe you can hear him breathing. He is so angry. Yes, James. Tingana is so well. Yes, James. Tingana is so well and round. He can roll very well in this tree. Yeah. He doesn't want anything to do with this carcass. You can see that the youngster there is. Uh, 
is sitting slightly not far from the carcass, but trying to sneak in there. So it's busy hiding its face, I just wonder, because of the size. But I don't think it's... No, this is not a tundi. Tom wants to know, is Tingana tolerating the female leopard because it is his daughter? I don't think so. Because this, uh, the daughter tried to sneak into the carcass, but what happened was Tingana was angry and he pushed it away. It's amazing, look how he's panting. It means he ate a lot. And the worst part, it was very hot today, about 33 degrees Celsius. That's 61, uh, 91 degrees Fahrenheit. That's why he's so panting. You can tell this is the Duke of Chumo while he's on top there. Oh, so, while I'll be sitting here with the Duke, hopefully you will get some more sounds. But for now, let's go to the Mara. They want to say hello. Listen to that. Listen to that. What happened here is so great. Pamela, yes, Tingana rules. He is indeed a ruler of his territory. You can see the way he's uh, invading and then owning that carcass. Because the, the other one is trying by all means to get a piece in there. But nothing. And we had hyenas earlier on, but they are sleeping just in the bushes that I can see them. But my camel won't be able to spot them. Yes, Carla, Kalamba, you better listen to your dad. You're right, Carla. Because he Kalamba is just to wait for for Tingana to go down and 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 have a rest there. Eh? But the way he's is is sitting on top of that carcass, it doesn't look as if he will leave the carcass and listen to that. That's not a comfortable spot, Kalamba. And Kalamba can't go down because of the hyenas. He will just struggle up there until everything settles down. Stacy, could Talamba kill something like this? Yes, Talamba has been known to kill big impalas these days. Talamba is a very 
grown up now. But uh, looking at this carcass now, I, I think I've made a mistake earlier on that it was an impala. This is these legs. They don't look like an impala. They look like a kudu. These legs. They look like a kudu. I'm sorry about that. I was super excited, so I didn't pay much attention. And so Talamba, he she will be, she will be owning a territory soon. So that's why she has to sharpen really her her, her, her skills before she owns a territory. But for now, let's go to Jamie while we are still smelling this smelly carcass. But not much has been happening since we went off air. Talamba is still on the same spot and Tingana still on top of his kill. Hey, Talamba has grown, but this uh, behavior here, it reminds me of Tingana and Hosanna. Do you still remember that? While they were both caught in one sighting. That was really amazing. Oh, Talamba is sleepy. She's sleepy now. Oh my God. Oh my goodness. Please don't sleep. <laughs> Seb, can you see Talamba? He's dosing there. She's dosing. <laughs> Jenny wants to know do all the male lepers take it easy to the younger female lepers uh i i really don't know that uh, an answer to that but my theory will be they do they they do how can i put this i can say uh, during a, uh, a situation like this where the kill is, is involved, I think they do mind. But when the, the kill is not involved, they don't, they, they don't mind them being around their territory because they are really not a threat to them because they won't fight any territorial uh, rights and stuff with their fathers. They will share their mother's territory. But Husa Tingano can see now he's mad at this youngster. He... Oh, our small and young little Talamba is still tossing. Good luck, Jamie, with looking and searching for Talamba's mom, Tandi. Who knows, maybe she might pop up here and rescue her daughter. I think uh, Tingana might reduce his temper if Tandi can be here. Hosanna is still panting and what happened earlier on, Talamba made this a slight move. Stacy, yes, she doesn't look comfortable because of the spot where she is right now. Kalamba moved slightly where, while, while we were off air and then Tingana growled again. I don't know why he's so angry at this little kid here. Oh, shame. And if he knew that these hyenas are dead asleep, she would have climbed uh, down and, 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 and leave the scene. But it's good these hyenas are here so that we can see this interaction between these two leopards. And I'm crossing fingers that Tingana mustn't attack this little lady here.
some of the viewers are wondering that will Tingana take on the hyenas? If it's one, yes, you will chase off that hyena. But if there, there are two or more, then he will just leave the scene because we you know leopards, they, they don't like conflict. As they are sol solitary cats, they love being out of danger all times because they have to hunt on their own. So if they get injured, <clears throat> then they might not be able to hunt and stuff and they might die. Wow, what a beauty. <sighs> I just saw Kalamba's eyes. Oh, what are you on there? They look greenish. Huh. This girl is so beautiful. So she's she's trying to to relocate where she is right now. But Tingana she's he's just growling and growling and growling. Oh poor baby. Tingana has changed the direction now is is facing on on the other side and if oh and we, and we can't get the belly there he's super full her belly is super full you can see there he looks pregnant uh, will you go down a, a, a little bit Aseb? Mm -hmm. just there just go down a little bit there look at this belly he is super full but he still wants to eat. Yes, M and FC indeed. This is a big tummy. It's like a cocky when she's super full. They just want to feed and feed and feed and feed. Lamba is climbing down. Lamba is just climbing down. I think she wants to go down. Oh shame, poor baby. She intimidates. She's intimidated by Tingana, and on the other hand, it's hyenas. She is so confused. Shame. Let me keep quiet and listen to the sighting. confused must I stay with Tingana or Tlalamba you choose send that to hashtag safari live oh she's deciding to stay with us but if she leaves what must I do oh what a beauty you can see Tingana he's, he's counting how many how many hyenas Oh, he's taking a pee. <laughs> Look, man, Uncle Zeb is taking a pee. <laughs> Where can he not on this? <laughs> <laughs> he's just taking a pee. <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> what is he doing? He's taking a pee. <laughs> Maybe you can get the sound. Let's listen.
Yes, giraffe girl, typical Tigana. <laughs> he decided to look at these hyenas and take a pee. What a long one. <laughs> While I'm enjoying Tingana taking a pee, let's go to Jamie. Maybe one of her lions is taking a pee. We are still with Tingane. Talamba left the sighting. She went into the dry riverbed and she vanished there. It's thick. We couldn't see her from there. So Tingane is still panting hard and hard and hard. And this was the best sighting I had this afternoon. James, you don't think Tingana is going far? Yes, I also think like that because Tingana is super full. I won't think he'll be able to walk a long distance from, from, from where he is right now. And on top of that, the carcass is still there. You can see the head, you can see the legs. He still wants to feed. Oh, it's been a while not seeing leopards interacting in tumor. This was really magical. This is a big boy. Hopefully tomorrow, it's great to see them together. Tomorrow, I wish we will find you here, boy, so that we can give our viewers some great sighting. So, unfortunately, we come to the end of the show, but it was magical and productive. Hopefully, we will catch up what's happening. Thanks for your questions and comments. We'll see you on the Sunrise Safari tomorrow morning. Goodbye.